Lloyd here. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend. Thank God. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> I was bored yesterday lunchtime. I was thinking, I've got nothing to play with this weekend, uh, vaping-wise. So uh, <clears throat> I had a look on uh, vapingthings.com, uh, Jay's site, and uh, I've bought a few bits and bobs from Jay. Uh, uh, his delivery service is incredible and good bloke you know it's always been good to me uh, and he gets lots of good reviews so this appeared on the site a sidewinder from smoke uh, so I thought what the hell let's give it a bash uh, now I decided to go uh, with you can buy it in I think you buy it in 18350 mode. Well, you can buy it in either mode, actually, I think. And you get uh, an extension tube as well, so you can have it 18650 or 18350. I'll, I've not finished my tea yet, and I'm half asleep, so uh, I'll clarify the details on that one. Um, so there, there's no instructions or anything like that, and not that I'd expect them for a device like this. I mean, there's not much that can you can really get wrong with them. Um, If you know your GLVs um, or the gripper, very, very similar concept, design, whatever you want to say. Um, and I, I like the form factor because, well, I had a GLV Super Mini V2, I think it was called. And uh, I had a gripper as well, uh, the Wii gripper, uh, not the variable voltage one. And I loved them. The, the only thing I didn't like about the GLV was that the bloody thing kept falling over because uh, it had a rounded base. You know, you couldn't sit it upright. Uh, it always bugged me. Uh, this one, however, has a flat base. Now, it, it, it's from what I can tell, I'd say this is, this is chrome-plated brass. Uh, If, if, it's quite substantial in your hand, so I mean that's the yeah. You know, it, it's a fraction of well, less than half the price of a GLV. Uh, so uh, I don't want to you know make any more comparisons with that. It's just the design factor. Uh, it's very similar. Now, um, go. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll shift the camera and we'll get in for a better look. So here we go. This is it in 18350 mode. You see it's got the black rubberized button up the top here. It's actually got a nice feel to it. Yeah. Uh, there's your 510 connector. And it is raised there. And there is a hole in the bottom there. Not that I think that's going to serve any purpose. I do know. You, no, I'm not going to mention it. Uh, right. Um, thread. Threads are absolutely stunning. Uh, there's your bottom cap. Spring. It actually comes with a spare spring as well. So I suspect that this is actually a hot spring. Um, Pop that down. You'll be able to see that. I mean, the threads are really, really good on it. And there's your switch mechanism in there, all sealed up. And just, I mean, I've not actually opened it yet. I mean, this is just fresh. There's not even been a battery in any of this yet. And there's your 18650 tube as well. I mean, it is, of course, it's, it's chrome plated, but it, it's not a fingerprint magnet, which I find, you know, you get fingerprints on it, but it's not like uh, polished stainless steel, you know, which is really bad for fingerprints. But this is, this seems to be okay. So, uh, let's.
pop there. There we go. Okay, right. Let's get some batteries in here and see what it vapes like. Right, batteries. You should see the mess in here. I've got vaping gear lying everywhere. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, right. It's now Panasonic grey here. And I'm taking the usual approach with the spring being in the bottom. I'm putting it in nipple up. Now that's quite... I'll tell you something now. You're not going to get any sinny bars or anything in there. Uh, that is quite a tight fit. Uh, but then it's quite a stiff spring. That might just be the spring. I'll check that in a minute. Yeah, I'll come back to that in a second. So, there is an 18650 mode. Have I got another 18650 model here? Right. There's... That's a uh, 69 there. So you get a comparison in the size. So it's actually, I mean, you know, it's, it's actually quite small for an 18650. Uh, but it's nice in there. It's nice in the hand. Right, what have I got here? I can put on. Now uh, this is what's this is what this form factor. This is where it kind of falls down a wee bit. Um, you're not going to be putting, for example, there's a G-bell. That's not going to screw on there because it's going to hit off the button. Uh, <laughs> K-fun? No, nope, that's not going on there either because of the button. Uh, you know, you're going to be using the small form factor. I mean, like, there's a... Oh, I need an ego adapter for that. Uh, excuse me a second. I'm just going to pop in a wee ego adapter here. You know, your Clearos, uh, Kanga T3s, things like that. Uh, everything that looks good on, say, an ego, uh, you know, you'll have no bother fitting it on here at all. Um, firing away quite the thing there. Uh, I need a drip tip. It's been a wee while since I've actually vaped on this. Uh, right. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure what's in there. Uh, it's vaping away quite the thing anyway. Uh, quite a good hit off of it. Uh, hey! Come on! I love my dog. Uh, That's a, a VST steam machine. Now I think that looks pretty smart. Holding it, it is fantastic. Your hand immediately grabs underneath the, the device here. So it's perfectly placed for your thumb. And nah. No, there's no shame to this at all. And the best of it is, it stands up. 
<laughs> it doesn't fall over. Uh, right, let's try uh, the 18350 mode. Another battery here. That's a really stiff spring, that. that. Really stiff. Uh, I'm just one. And the, the other spring that comes with it is it's just as stiff. Uh, right, so there it is, an 18350 board. That's vaping really well. Um, what else can we try in this? I'll put a wee dripper on it just now. Um, get a nice wee drip tip. There it is with a wee dripper. I, th I mean, it's. The big thing that, that, you know, what you decide in fact and whether or not you're going to like this is the form factor. You know, it either does it for you or it doesn't. For me, it's just, I just love the way it fits in your hand. I really like that. Uh, I'll see what else fits on it because that's everything I've tried there has been with an Ego adapter uh, and steam machine gear. Uh, here's a, a Phoenix. Once again, fits on it just fine. Right. Uh, now, before I go any further, what I'd better do, uh, just to get my facts straight here. Where's these mods? So it's vapingthings.com. Uh, excuse me a second. Right, it's the Sidewinder. They have it in 18350 or 18650. Uh, I think it's the same for both. It's 32.99. If you want the the bundle, both tubes, you add a fiver. So it's 37.99 uh, for an 18350 and an 18650, which I think, in my opinion, is a cracking buy. Uh, it's a really hefty wee, I mean, it's chrome plated brass, I think. Uh, I'm not going to scratch it up. Um, but I, I always liked the wee gripper and I liked the GLV. I love the form factor. And once again, that's what it's going to come down to for you, whether or not you like the form factor. Uh, it, it's got a great wee kick off of it. Uh, it's not a wimpy mod. Um, by any means, as you can see, it's popping out a fair bit of vape here. That's the Steam Machine VST back on it. That is really good. Um, so, for first impressions, which this is, and I'll do a follow-up and let you know how I go on with it in a week's time. Uh, I'm really impressed. I like the button. I didn't think I would when I saw it in the photos. Uh, I thought it might have 
been your usual smoke type of affair, but uh, it's got a nice soft feel to it. Uh, it's not, you know, it's kind of nice. Uh, so there you go, first impressions of the sign wider uh, from vapingthings.com. Uh, I paid for this with more money, uh, so no need for any disclaimers or anything like that. Um, as always, sterling service from Jay. Uh, recommend them to anybody uh, if you're looking for stuff. So there you go, 18350 mode, or you have the 18650 mode. Uh, last thing, quickly, we need to check this. Uh, let's get this 18650 tube on, and see if I can't find a. Uh, Now this is a send bar battery. Now remember that if you've got one of these send bars or send bars, whatever they're called, they're a lot bigger than your standard 18650. And I can tell you now, just you know, that's not going to fit. Not a chance in hell. Uh, It does go on, but it's a bit, bit of a gap there. So uh, it's just something to be aware of. You're going to be one thing. <sighs> Watch out for the size of your 18650 is all I can say. Make sure it's a standard 18650. It's not one of these long 18650s that you seem to, to get. Um, let's see, I mean, that's it with a, a flat Panasonic in there. And it's perfect. It just fits in no problem at all. So, that's me. Uh, I've got a couple of other reviews to do uh, today. So, I'll get cracking and uh, we'll speak to you later. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye.